Hey cruisers, we hope you loved our Embarkation Day Fun episode. In response to that video, one of our subscribers asked us to share what we pack in our boarding or Embarkation Day bag. Your wish is our command. This video is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, the only site where you can read verified cruise reviews. That means they confirmed that the person who wrote the review actually went on that sailing. They work with the top cruise agencies to confirm the booking information for every reviewer. They also don't filter any of their reviews, so you get the real scoop, good, bad, or ugly. Make sure you read them before you choose your next cruise. So let's take a look at what I am packing for my husband, son, and myself for a seven night warm weather cruise. We are going to Mexico, but this gear would work perfectly for a Caribbean cruise as well. We will start with what is going in my backpack. Now, my son and I love to hit the pools and hot tubs early on embarkation day before they get crowded. So this bag is a little bit swim focused. Later on, we're gonna get to our rolling carry-on. Because this guy is heavy, I will try to drop it off at my stateroom as soon as we board. So let's go ahead and get started with the backpack here. This is a brand new backpack. We've never tried it out. We got it on amazon.com from a company called Oryxin. It's still a little bit wrinkly because it's never been used. So <laughs> if you're noticing that it looks like it needs a good steaming or ironing, you are correct. So let's start with the outside parts of the backpack and I'll tell you what's going on here. Right here, I have my sunglasses for embarkation. And in this front little pouch here, I have just a simple bag of hand sanitizing wipes because we usually hit the buffet and touch a lot of germy stuff on the first day, so I like to have those on hand. Over here on the side, I have taken a little carabiner and have hooked on my water bottle. We're gonna go ahead and try to use a plastic water bottle on this cruise. And I've also got my hat hooked up. So let's take a look at what is inside this bag. Now, as I mentioned, my son and I like to do some swimming or hot tubbing or at least chilling by the pool on the first day. So there's kind of a heavy focus here on the swim stuff. But first, I'm gonna show you the practical things. When I cruise, I actually eliminate the need for a purse entirely for my cruise. So the first thing you're gonna see is that I have transferred my wallet over to my backpack. So my wallet is going to be living here and going in the safe as soon as I get into the room. My car keys are also gonna be in this backpack. This is my cosmetics bag. I like to keep this close to me all the time in case I want to powder my nose. So cosmetics bag is going to stay with me as well on embarkation day. Next up is a bag that I have to keep close to me all the time, and this is our medication bag. If you've watched these videos before, you've heard me say that my little eight-year-old son does have some food allergies. They're not major, but we do have to keep allergy medicine with us at all times. Also in this bag, I have all of the pain reliever you could possibly need for a seven-night cruise. I have Advil. We also have cold medicine. I have some, um, some anti-itch cream in here in case somebody got a bug bite, so kind of like a cortisone cream, and um, some neosporin type cream, even cough drops for my husband. So lots going on in this bag. Your medicine bag is very personal. You guys can do whatever you wanna do with it, but this is just a really good suggestion. So this stays with me at all times. Next up, I have packed two of these beautiful Wander wet bags, which are technically wet swimsuit bags. You've seen our reviews on these before. And in this bag right here, what we have is a little swim bag. So I have three different types of sunscreen. These are all my little travel sizes for the pool day, right? We don't wanna pack the big stuff. I'm gonna put that in my big suitcase that I check on the cruise. And then here I have my swimsuit and my bathing suit cover up so that when we get on the, um, on the ship, we can go ahead and go swimming right away. Now my son is going to have his own little backpack. So he's gonna have his own little swim bag in his backpack. I want him to get used to carrying his own stuff. So that's gonna go there. My second Wander wet bag that I have here, is full of some necessities that I like to have on my first day. These little lanyards are meant to put your cruise card in when you get on the ship. So they go right around your neck and you've got your cruise card and for me it's always a hand sanitizer here and this is one for my son. So they just punch a hole in it for you and you are ready to put your stateroom key in that. I also have a floating device 
for my underwater cell phone case. So this is a little floaty that goes on my wrist because believe it or not, your cell phone will sink to the bottom of the pool <laughs> in one of these cases. We found that out the hard way on our last cruise. I also have some phone chargers for embarkation day in case we can't get to our room and get charging things right away. So I've got some cables in here for that as well. And I have my totally obnoxious selfie stick. So that is what is in my second Wander wet bag. If you want to hear a little bit more about Wander wet bags, you should go to our cruise gear channel and check out our review on them. I also have loads of pictures of Wander wet bags on our Instagram page. Okay. Now for the really important stuff, you guys, passports, cruise documents. These are really, really critical to keep very close to you. So that's why this says important stuff here. <laughs> so I've got all of our passports, a pen, which is super important to keep on hand. You would be surprised at how many people forget to bring their own pen to sign the health questionnaire and your customs form at the end. So bring your own pen. And here I have my boarding passes for our cruise and I have my entire cruise contract and I even have my little wee luggage tags that are going to go in plastic containers on boarding day. So I don't have them in their plastic containers yet, but they're going to get there. So that my friends, is the entire contents of our boarding day backpack. Now, you'll notice this is a really funky, neutral, boring color. That is because I want my husband to be able to carry the backpack. Now, if I buy the adorable, gorgeous, floral backpack that I want, I'm not gonna, not gonna be able to ask him to carry it for the whole cruise, right? So that is why we go with a really neutral color because I am planning on leaning on him for that. So next up here, after I get everything put back in, we're going to go over to our suitcase that we actually roll on the ship. Now, you're probably wondering, why do you even bother to take a suitcase? And you know, what's the whole, what's the whole point of taking something so heavy because you can't get rid of it, you're gonna be stuck with it all day, and that is, you know, obviously a question that we get asked a lot. But the truth is, you guys, we're going to drop this sucker off at the room. So we're going to get on board, we're going to roll it over to our stateroom, and we're going to leave it there. If the door is unlocked, we'll put it inside the stateroom. But if not, it's going to go ahead and be sitting outside the door because there's nothing valuable in it. But the main reason that we have to do that is because we are packing the allowable amount of soda with us. We're not going to take water because Carnival doesn't allow plastic anymore. They do allow cans. So we're taking Diet Coke and my favorite sparkling water, LaCroix in lime, and my son loves it too. It's wonderful to have. So we'll order water to have it waiting in our stateroom, but we have to take these in our carry-on bag. You can't check them. So you're kind of strapped with your, um, your heavy beverages on day one. So those are going to take up like half the suitcase, right? But they're super important. On the um, on this side of the bag, I have a few other things. Lots and lots of bags within my bags. You'll notice that's just how I stay organized. This is all of the things I'll need for my hair on the cruise. So lots and lots of clips, bobby pins, hair bands, things like that. And all of the product that I use for my hair has to be limited to a small bag like this. This is a little mini laundry bag. The only reason this is getting packed in the embarkation day bag is because it has a, a little, um, a tied to go pen in it and some shout wipes. So if one of us gets messy, if we're eating spaghetti at the buffet and it gets on my bathing suit cover up, I want to be able to access this. So now moving over to this side, can you still see me okay there from the camera? Okay, super. This is kind of my big gear bag. So what we have inside of this bag is probably worth showing all of you guys. We have motion sickness bands, this bag here is full of magnets, a highlighter pen to highlight my daily newsletter, post-it notes, and a nice big pen to write notes to my steward. And what else? I've got my magnetic hooks and some clothes pins in here. You're gonna see how we use these once we get on that cruise and show you how we organize our stateroom. I also have my headphones in there. My travel alarm clock that if you've been Friends of Cruise Tips TV for a while, you know that it's ancient and we're not sure when it's going to die. Actually, it might be dead. Oh my gosh, I think it's dead, you guys. It's dead. Well, we'll have to buy a new one of these before our cruise. And we also have our non-surge, I guess, what would you call this? A power strip extension cord, whatever. This one usually gets through security, so we keep taking it with us. And then lots and lots of Clorox wipes for that initial wipe down. So this is the stuff that as soon as I get to my room, I don't want to have to dig it out of my suitcase. I want my stateroom to be ready in case I'm feeling a little motion sick on day one, which I'm usually not. I like to have my motion sickness band. So this is just kind of all the gear, right? Okay, next up on this side, I have my entire toiletry bag. Now, if you guys want me to do an episode on what the heck is in my toiletry bag, let me know in the comments below and I could do something separately. But I wanted to show you this bag because even though it's not that gorgeous, it does hang 
on the towel rack or on the back of the door in your stateroom and it's really handy. So up here I have everything from face wash to a set of earplugs in case we have noisy neighbors, God forbid, right? To another thing of pain reliever and some facial cream. Here I've got all of my shampoos. I'm trying a bunch of sample packets and different items from um, all of my beauty boxes that we review over on our cruise gear channel. So I'll let you know how I like all of those. Some spare chapstick in here, Q-tips, cotton balls, things like that. And down here, you can probably see a little tiny bit better that I have toothpaste, deodorant, baby powder, razors, floss, and a bar of soap. So this is pretty much it for the toiletries on this cruise. This is a seven night cruise. So, you know, a week, you need a good amount of stuff, but you don't need to, to do a whole lot of overkill. Next up is a super important bag. Now this is a change of clothes for everyone in my family. So let's just say our luggage gets delayed and we don't see our luggage before dinner time. Everything is in here for my husband, my son, and I. Change of underwear, a nice change of clothes for dinner, everything that we could possibly need except for shoes. We left those out this time. You guys, that is it. That is what we're taking in our rolling carry-on and our backpack for embarkation day. Please be sure to leave your embarkation day packing tips in the comments below. Thank you so very much for watching. We would really appreciate it if you would visit our sponsor using the link in the notes below. And follow us at Cruise Tips TV on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks again, and happy cruising. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Hey, click me to subscribe. <laughs> Is that funny?